Okay, this is video number six in our series, and this is for people who are artists, illustrators, who want to learn how to illustrate children's books and learn how to get your work in front of art directors and editors at major publishing companies like HarperCollins, Simon Schuster, Scholastic, and, and companies like that. Okay, so there's really two things that you need. One, you need a really great portfolio that reflects the fact that you can illustrate children's books. And two, you need to um, have the art directors that work there and editors know who you are and to have been able to see your, see, um, have seen your work. So let's talk about the first one and then we'll talk about the second one. Um, so the list that I have on the screen right now is a list that we put together for our um, online school, svslearn.com. This is a little handout we um, have given in our children's book class there. And this goes over like all the different things that you may, um, well, that you really should know how to do. And that goes from, you know, from telling a good visual story through creating great um, and memorable characters, designing those, following design principles to create those characters, um, coming up with great environments that help to tell the story, um, work, you know, having good lighting and good color, designing your images, starting with thumbnail sketches, working up through, you know, all the design principles of camera angles, um, leaving space for text, um, uh, you know, all the compositional skills that you might need, um, good drawing skills, drawing mechanics, good anatomy, um, all of this stuff we teach and all the way through, um, you know, good rendering and, and then we go into, you know, how to send off your package um, of your book dummy, you know, making a book dummy and sending it off to the client, um, to an art director, editor, um, how to, you know, create digital files and send off those digital files. So all of those things are things that you need to know uh, how to do. And we teach all those things at svslearn.com where you can check out our whole online school is meant to prepare people to become children's book illustrators. Um, and then children's book pro is our, our, um, advanced level class for teaching people specifically how to get into, um, uh, illustrating children's books. So one tip that I'll give you on how to get your work in front of editors, um, because that's the, the second thing. The first thing is, you know, creating a great portfolio. Second thing is submitting your work and, and getting it, um, looked at. Most, um, you know, it used to be back in the day, you could go to New York City and because that's where all the publishers are and you could make an appointment with an art director. I'm talking like 20, 30 years ago and you could you could get your um, work seen by a, a, an art director and they would review your portfolio and get it back to you. Now they're so insulated that you can't even get in the door. If you went in, um, typically the doorman or the reception desk would say, you know, who are you there here to see? If you don't have an appointment, you can't, you can't meet with an art director. Um, you, you know, you can't find their phone number to call them. You don't have their email, so you really can't schedule an appointment. And they certainly won't let you go up and and see them. So they they've got this insulation layer. Um, even if you did get a hold of them, they'd probably tell you no because they have access to all the great illustrators in the world. I mean, they just don't need you. The only reason that they might need you is if you can show them uh, a great portfolio and they can go, wow, I, you know, I didn't know you existed, but you have to remember we're all creatures that try to try to maximize our time and try to eliminate wasted time. And if they saw every illustrator that wanted to see them, the good ones would be one out of a hundred or one out of a thousand um, that they would want to work with. So they just say no to everybody. But Here's my tip. If you go to an SCBWI conference, that's Society of um, Book Writers and Illustrators, and there's a chapter in every, uh, almost every state in the U.S. There are chapters in other countries. I, I know, I think Australia has three different chapters. Um, but there are uh, ways to get into those conferences. There's also other children's book conferences as well, like Writing for Young Readers. Um, that one's in Utah. Um, but 
if you go to one of those and they have an art director, they, they'll have art directors that come from the major publishing companies to give talks to basically explain what they're looking for and, and to talk about the industry. They have um, a known um, policy whereby when the art director, let's say from Scholastic, comes out to speak, sometimes they're in your local state, so you don't have to travel too far. Um, sometimes they're the they're at the national conferences, but there's a policy where if you attend the their conference, that art director will give everyone that attends their email address, and will say, you know, like for the next six months or year, I will answer your email. I you are on a list of people that I will respond to. I've given you permission to send me your work, and um, and I'll take a look at it and I'll give you feedback. And so that's a great resource right there. Um, you attend the event. And these events aren't that expensive. Um, they're anywhere from 30 to $75 to attend one of these local ones. Um, it's a great way to get a foot in the door. A lot of people have been published from going to these. They often, if they have an art director coming, they'll often have that art director um, do portfolio reviews as well. And for like a $50 fee, you can get your portfolio review. They also do what they call um, quick, what do they call Quick looks or something like that where they'll let all the illustrators um, that are attending that event submit a piece of art and then they will flash it on the screen and the art director and or illustrators, I've done this before, I've attended those events and been the illustrator that has given critiques and so then they will critique your piece in a minute or 30 seconds, whatever they have, and they'll give you their first impressions of your work. And so that's a good way to get some feedback as well. But a lot of people have submitted their work and you know, got a portfolio review, shown the art director, and walked away with a contract. It doesn't happen at every event, but often that's, that's uh, an illustrator's story is they got discovered basically at an SCBWI event. So that's one of my best tips. We also give you a lot more submission guidelines and tips on how to get your work seen in our Children's Book Pro class. Um, basically, the things you need to do is you need to know how to illustrate for children's books. You need to practice it a lot. You need to refine it. You need to know how to present it and how to get work with it. And that's basically it. That's, that's how you, know, you don't need a college degree. You don't need to ever, um, you know... It, there's no such thing as a pedigree of, of you know, colleges or classes that you've attended. It's all about your portfolio. It's all about what you can do, and if you fit into the um, the children's book market with your work, and that's what our children's book pro class is all about. Is in getting you you a book dummy, which is a mock-up book of a manuscript that you've illustrated, ready to submit to um, an art director and or editor where they can make a decision and give you feedback on it um, and uh, once you have those skills you can then illustrate multiple books and submit those as well so um, that's my advice to you and I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching